Do you know that the 91 points was a franchise record for this group in the first half? I did not. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Nicely done, huh? That's what happens when you uh, come to work and you're ready to work from the beginning. I had a joke to make, but Megan took it away. Um, <laughs> Jacques, you go, given that you had to come back from nearly 20 down, you know, the last two games, I mean, do you, do you look at this as progress, given, as you see, you know, the, the foot stayed on the gas pedal, you know, three and a half quarters, and you're able to, to rest the guys? Yeah, definitely uh, consider it progress, uh, because it was definitely the message uh, through our walkthrough, the, how focused we were going to be, concentrated on this effort, no matter who was playing for them. And... Um, you know, games like these can definitely go either way. You know, people counted us out at the Indiana, and look what happened. So your approach to those games, no matter who's playing, is, is huge. And I, I thought our focus was good. And then Kyrie obviously was a late scratch. I mean, do you have any update on him and if he's going to be available for Friday? Uh, no update on you. Well, he'll come in tomorrow, get assessed again. Uh, but uh, hopefully looking forward to him playing on Friday. Coach, I think I remember the play first quarter. You guys are up 8-2. to two. I think Draymond gets to the rim, dumps it off to Looney. Easy dunk, uncontested timeout. What did you say? Because right after that, you guys went on a run, finished the quarter 40, what, 46 to 17, something like that. Yeah, again, Christian, we're going to use those opportunities to uh, teach and also uh, make sure that we're uh, on the same page. Uh, we got a chance. We all looked at the iPad together to see whether a mistake happened. And uh, just because our game plan, we didn't want to give up layups that way. And so being locked in, a little re reminding for the group, and uh, we were able to reassess and, and, and keep it moving, which was good. And second, I mean, just how many players do you have in double figures? I believe nine. Just what does that say about the ball movement? Yeah, it says a lot. I think uh, that we have a lot of people who can score the basketball. Uh, you take even Patty, the minutes that he played, and his ability to impact the game at the end. Uh, so uh, overall, I think guys enjoy when you can look at the stat sheet and get minutes for everyone and points for everyone, and, and you win. 42 assists, pr pretty impressive. Jacques, just a smidge, but a season high in minutes for T.J. Warren's I mean, do you think he's ready to kind of get a, a bump or maybe make that a regular thing instead of, you know, kind of fluctuating between the, the maybe the low end of, you know, 15 and, and the high ends of tonight? Yeah, I think overall we just um, – the goal is to have him healthy at the end of the year. And uh, do I envision him playing 35 minutes? No. Uh, so I'll say that. Uh, I think uh, we have enough depth on this team that he doesn't need to do that. Uh, do we want to continue to increase him that he's playing, um, you know, in that range where he was tonight over consecutive days and building up uh, uh, his legs and strength to play in games? Uh, yes. And to play back-to-backs going forward? Yes. So there's a goal in sight, but um, we, we don't need to play um, TJ 35 minutes. And he had, I think it was seven or eight tonight in the fourth, just when Kevin was on the bench. I mean, was that kind of a microcosm of, of ideally what he's doing and that he's, he's relieving some of the starters and that offensive burden when they're out of the game for you? Yeah, it's a little bit of both. You know, my conversation with him actually today uh, after shoot-around uh, of trying to find what unit, you know, suits him and his game. Uh, you know, it was interesting tonight without Kai, so that changes the rotations a little bit. But we've done both where uh, he plays with Kevin, so he's got those minutes that we still want to uh, have because he can space the floor and score. But then he started the second quarter for us, which he hadn't done before. So getting him in the mix with Ben to push the pace, uh, we're still trying to uh, find the, the sweet spot for him. Yeah, go ahead, Alex. You got a third one. Go ahead. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, Alex. I'm carrying this. Um, you didn't make the Toronto trip, so. Um, that was not my fault. Um, you know, not, your, not your next 15, I think, or against you know, playoff caliber teams. Obviously, you guys have done a good job of you know, beating up on the, the lower standing teams. I guess just what, what do you make of this next stretch given the amount of competition coming through. Yeah, you take care of business. Whatever day's game presents itself, you take care of business. We get an opportunity to play against Milwaukee on Friday. Uh, that gives us a good chance to um, see if we can have the same focus tonight um, against a very good team. So not going to look too far down the line. Uh, Friday's the next game. We'll try to take care of business on Friday. Kind of following up on that, I mean, Giannis, the way he's playing, I don't think we're going to talk to you until pretty much right before the game. Just how do you even start to game plan for a guy who plays with that much force and then just the way they play in Milwaukee just being such a well-oiled engine on both sides? Yeah, well-oiled engine, well-coached, um, high-level team. Uh, great challenge for us to, you know, play every possession or else you pay for it. 
Uh, guys that can make shots, they spread you with the three ball. Uh, even Brooke, you know, sh shoots it from above the break and, and in the corner. So you have some decisions to make. Uh, how much attention you're going to give to Giannis to keep him away from the rim. Uh, the easy baskets that he gets in transition, bodies that have to be in front of him. Good thing we have some depth, like we talked about, that we can use, multiple bodies that we can put on them. And uh, we'll, we'll try to make them react to us as well. Uh, we have enough shooting to make them react. They play a certain style of basketball, and they don't go away from it on the, both ends of the floor. Uh, so that part is uh, understandable from our end. But we'll, I think we'll be ready to play on Friday. Coach, the team has uh, played a lot better recently, especially on the defensive end. What has been the key to you and your coaching staff unlocking that potential and getting the team to perform better on that end of the court? Yeah, it's really our guys understanding uh, how, poor, how important that end of the floor is. Uh, you know, Christian talked about it. We, we had a timeout early in the game to address it. And uh, it's, it's okay for us to address it, hit it, you know, head on, and uh, let the group know that it's, it's important for us to play defense. You, you see, we can score the basketball at a high level. We just have that ability to do so. Uh, but for us to be a, a good team and make some noise going forward, we, we have to be a good defensive team.